So basically these coaxial motors here will spin in opposite directions. The top one will spin in a clockwise direction and the bottom one will spin in a counterclockwise direction. That way, since there are three points here and if there are three motors spinning, no matter where you're going, there's always going to be a yaw. But with this coaxial system, the yaw is counteracted between or canceled between the two motors so that you have no yaw in the system, just force for pitch and roll. And so it makes things much simpler in controlling the yaw. Um, these props here, this one will push air um, down while the other pulls air down. So there aren't any airfoil um, uh, fighting against each other to, to pull this air and, and propel this thing upwards. And so that is why there are motors on top of each other here. And that's the system on all three for this Y6. And that's how we maintain uh, no zero y'all in this helicopter. Thanks. All right, so we're here testing the motors for the Y6 prototype here, uh, balancing them out and testing the vibrations that they create. Uh, we've got a kind of rudimentary wiring system going here to wire the speed controller up to our servo right here, as well as the battery to the ESCs, which provides power to the motors and the servo here. Um, so we're gonna speed it up and check the vibrations on the app we have that will test different vibrations that this causes in the XYZ direction. Um, and basically what we can do is, is take this motor and, and balance it out, see that we have some tape here to already balance some of it out. We've done some of the balancing. And, and that way it limits the vibrations as it spins, since these aren't perfectly made to be balanced. And will lessen the noises, or the noise, I'm sorry, that the, the IMU receives from, from different uh, sensors. So we're gonna start this up. The servo has three different um, testings, and we're gonna use manual testing so that we can control the speed ourselves. As you can see there, the X and the Y bounced around a little bit from vibrations from the motor. And what we would do is test that from different sides with a counterbalance weight on different parts of the motor to, to find where we needed to balance this. Uh, basically what we do is we put a zip tie around this and spin it and test it at different spots. And once we find the place that gives us the smallest vibration readings on the phone, we can tape there and have a balanced motor that will run smoother and will give the IMUs much less noise. So this has been the motor and vibrations testing and um, thanks for watching.